Video gaming is clearly a popular form of entertainment, with video gamers collectively spending 3 billion hours per week in front of their screens. Due to their widespread use, scientists have researched how video games affect the brain and behavior. Are these effects positive or negative? There is increasing research focused on the impact of video gaming on the brain. At a glance, more than 150 million people in the United States play video games regularly, or for at least 3 hours per week. The average American gamer is a 35-year-old adult, with 72% of gamers aged 18 or older. For video game use by children, most parents, 71%, indicate that video games have a positive influence on their child's life. A growing body of evidence, however, shows that video gaming can affect the brain and, furthermore, cause changes in many regions of the brain. Game addicts have functional and structural changes in the neural reward system. For example, video game use is known to affect attention. The studies included in the review show that video game players display improvements in several types of attention, including sustained attention and selective attention. Furthermore, the regions of the brain that play a role in attention are more efficient in gamers compared with non-gamers, and they require less activation to stay focused on demanding tasks. Evidence also demonstrates that playing video games increases the size and competence of parts of the brain responsible for visuospatial skills, a person's ability to identify visual and spatial relationships among objects. In long-term gamers and individuals who had volunteered to follow a video game training plan, the right hippocampus was enlarged. Researchers have discovered that video gaming can be addictive, a phenomenon known as Internet Gaming Disorder. In gaming addicts, there are functional and structural alterations in the neural reward system, a group of structures associated with feeling pleasure, learning, and motivation. Exposing video game addicts to game-related cues that cause cravings, and monitoring their brain responses, highlighted these changes, changes that are also seen in other addictive disorders. A team of researchers from the Florida State University has stated that people should be skeptical of adverts that promote an increase in the performance of the brain that results from brain training games. They have said that science does not support these claims playing brain training games did not improve cognitive abilities in older adults. People are increasingly under the impression that brain training apps will safeguard them against memory loss or cognitive disorders. In contrast, a study published in Nature found that through the use of a specially designed 3D video game, cognitive performance could be improved in older adults and some of the adverse effects on the brain associated with aging, reversed. A small amount of brain training can reverse age-related brain decline. Strategy video games, in particular, have shown promise in improving brain function among older adults and may provide protection against dementia and Alzheimer's disease. There is evidence to suggest that video games may be a viable treatment for depression and improve memory and mood in adults with mild cognitive impairment. The effect of video games on the brain is a new area of research that will continue to be explored. We may just be scraping the surface of the potential that video games could present in enhancing cognitive ability and preventing cognitive disorders. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. In this channel you will get information about various health related topics. Wishing you good health in your life. Bye.